Free Me is the heaviest. It is. Because now we're talking about something that some people won't ever, well, most people won't ever go through, but some people do. Um, how you get there is how you get there, but once you're there, it's a lifelong thing. And you might lose. Some people lose. So That's right. with drug addiction, you know, you have been really, really close to this. You already mentioned it one time in this in this uh, podcast. Um, give us the inspiration and tell us your personal story, man. Well, uh, there there have been people in um, both of our families, Tanya's my family and my family, who have who have struggled with uh, addiction. Uh, certainly, we lost my nephew. Uh, but uh, he's not the only person that has struggled with it uh, in, in a very, very serious sense. Um, it's, it's hard uh, to see, um, it's hard to see anybody struggling with that because, I mean, it just, it, it impacts everything. It impacts their character. It impacts their relationship with their friends and family. It impacts their job. It impacts every single aspect of it to the point where, you know, if, they, if it gets really bad, uh, can you even trust anything that comes out of their mouth? You know, I mean, it, it, because it's all about, you know, where can I pick up the next bit of money to, to get the stuff that I want to have to, to you know, to, full, to support my addiction. Uh, and, you know, to see somebody that, that you had great times with and great conversations with and, and shared a lot of love with, uh, to see them start to give all of that away to everybody, not just to me, but to everybody, uh, even their mothers and fathers. Um, to give all that away in order to be able to try and, you know, finagle an extra buck or two to, to buy whatever you happen to be on at the time. Uh, that, um, that's hard. You know, it's hard to deal with one lie after another. It's hard to deal with the fact that somebody stole something and sold it or, or, you know, got money out of your purse or whatever the case might be. It's just very sad because you knew them before this actually happened. And so the decline itself is very, it's depressing. And so uh, I, I saw all of that. And so every single line of that was taken from, you know, me witnessing from personal experience uh, the decline and even the death of uh, people that I know and love. And, of course, you know, if you're in the music business, yeah, Tony and I were performing for over, over a quarter century. Don't tell me we didn't, you know, see drugs take their toll on, on musicians. Most of the time it, it would be alcohol. But you know, you know, cocaine, heroin, all the rest of that stuff. Eventually, meth, all that stuff started making its way into, you know, into the the system. And of course, uh, you know, that was part of the music scene, so to speak. It wasn't for us because basically, we just had too much going on. Uh, there's no way in the world we want to get into that anyway because we saw what it could actually do. Understood. It's um, it's it's a good one, and it's and again, it's dark, but it's dark for a reason because you know. It's truthful. I mean, there's no hiding from it. It happens. Like I said, you know, some people that are get addicted to drugs in particular, they win. But are you still winning because it's an everyday thing? You got to win by the moment. I won this moment. I don't know what the next one's going to be, but I, you know, I won this one because the next five might be awful. And then you might fail. And then you have to start over. And then some people lose. That's right. They do. Uh, there are some people who win. There's no doubt about that. I am a constant optimist in that respect. But it breaks my heart uh, to have seen the people who didn't make it uh, for them to crash and burn or even die. Uh, it, it really, really hurts. And uh, you do what you can. You support while you can. You make sure that, that, that you give what you can without being taken advantage of. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the wisdom of trying to help uh, somebody on addiction to actually... Be, be able to know that what you're doing is actually going to be put to some good. Um, and it possibly might help them in the long run to, to, to beat it because it's, it totally sucks. And it, I can't even imagine, you know, uh, it, deep down inside, they're good people too, but they are completely trapped and completely, you know, I guess you could say they are they're just under the thumb of this thing and just cannot find a way out. So uh, especially if you're around other people that are doing the same thing, it, it makes it even more difficult because they, you know, they encourage that kind of behavior. So, you know, it's, it's just, it's just a hard, it's a hard one to swallow. There's no doubt about it.
it all